Hey y'all, what's, what's up? up? DJ, DJ Lefebvre, Lefebvre here with another, another tutorial. tutorial. Today, Today, what we're going to do is show you how you can get Spotify into your Zoom while you're talking with your friends or just hanging out. So think of Spotify as any other program that you might have. You use Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, YouTube videos, whatever else you're playing, you can get to broadcast over your Zoom. And that way, all your friends can uh, get some ambiance, some background music to your, to your, uh, to your conversation. So the way we're doing this today, it's it's 100% free for you. Um, in order to do that, you need a couple things. One, you need Zoom. Two, you need your music program. And three, we're going to use this down here. This is called Voice Meter Banana. Now, this is a free software that you can have. It's, it's software mixing board for your computer. So if you don't have a, a mixer, um, I'm actually using a Zoom L8 uh, live track right now. But, but I, wanted I wanted to show, show you guys, guys a way that you can do this that includes just all these these things right here to get your music onto your your Zoom session. So uh, the, uh, the first, first thing you got to do is go get Voice Meter. It's, it's from uh, vb-audio.com and, and download Voice Meter and you install it. When you install it, it's going to install these things called virtual audio cables. Now, the virtual audio cables are like, like connecting different things behind the scenes in your software. So, so what we're going to show you is you download it, you open it up, and this is your screen right here. This is what Voice Meter looks like. It's a digital mixing board. The first thing you're going to do is get your hardware input. Right now, it's my mic, what I'm talking to you on, right? So my mic right here, when I click on that, you click the down button, you, you select what mic you're going to use or, or what your input is. I'm going to do my Zoom L8 audio. All right. right. And, and the way that I have things routed, routed today in order for this broadcast to work, you're going to see things cross over on different lines, but you're going to get the idea and you'll be able to do it. If not, hit me up in the comments. I'm always uh, there, there to help you out along your way. So the next thing we're going to do is your, you see these things called virtual inputs. What are you doing? I don't care about you. Close that. All right. Uh, virtual inputs right here is how, how you're, you're taking, taking uh, software, software inputs, inputs from your computer. computer. So, so you, you see this, this first, first one is voice meter V-A-I-O. So, so what you're going to do on a PC is go down to your sound, sound settings on the bottom right, right. And, and then what, what you want to do is you want to select that as your, your, your system, system sound, sound for right, right now. now. So, so we're, we're going to find voice meter input, voice meter V-A-I-O, and just click it. Now, when we click that, you, you now, now are whatever you, you play in your program, program Spotify, Spotify, Amazon, Amazon Music, music or uh, Netflix, Netflix or YouTube, YouTube. Whatever, whatever you're playing, playing from there is going to be fed, fed to your system, system and it's also going to be taken into this mixing board, board right? right? So, so now, now that you have that, that in your mixing board, board what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit play on my, my Spotify real quick so you can see it activating here. I'm not going to say anything, but you're going to see these lines jumping up and down, okay? All right, so, so you, see you see the lines, lines jumping up and, up and down there. That, that means that, that the audio, audio is coming into, into your virtual mixing board. board. So, so we now, now have your hardware, hardware input. input. You, you have, have your software, software input. input. Now, now you need to have an output. output. So, so in this, this hardware, hardware out, out, you're going to do is click down, down on this A1 box, box and, and it comes with a couple of virtual audio cables with the software. For today, I'm just going to use the first one that pops up, virtual audio cable C. What that does, what that does is everything, everything I mix down, down within this software, software is going to be pumped, pumped out onto, onto that, that one single uh, channel, channel right there, there that, that one audio cable. cable. So, this so this whole time, time you've seen me uh, speaking, speaking, you'll, you'll also see that in my Zoom audio, audio settings, settings over here, here uh, it's, it's been going, going up and down, down up and down. down. It's, it's, it's already, already taken my, my input because I, I'm, I've had it pre-set up. To show you how to get there, open up Zoom, click the little gearbox icon, and then in here, you're going to select audio. What, what you do, you do is, is right now on microphone, microphone you're going to click, click the down button and click that same virtual audio cable that you have selected in hardware, hardware out of voice meter banana. banana. And, and then there's, there's a couple of other settings that you have to do to make this sound really, really good. good. The, the first, first one is uncheck, uncheck this automatically adjust volume button right here, right? We don't want that. That's a bad button because when you're playing music, it definitely does not sound like speaking. So it's not going to come over as clearly. The second, the second thing, thing you want to do, do is click, click the advanced tab and make, and make sure, sure that this checkbox is checked. Show, show in meeting options to enable original sound from microphone. microphone. Make sure you do that because, because what Zoom and, and any other, other program, program that you're going to use, whether it's Skype or Hangouts or anything like that, they, they want, want to suppress any loud noises or talking over each, each other. other. And when you have music playing, that is kind of talking over each other. So you want to make sure you don't have that. 
So, so I've already, already uh, started a meeting. My, my, my Zoom meeting's up here. here. I'm, I'm using, using my camera, camera to record this, this, this tutorial, tutorial for you, so, so you don't have it up, up there. there. But, but in your, your screen for Zoom, the first thing you're going to see is this box up here. It's grayed out right now. And it says, turn on original sound. So you click that. Now, turn on original sound is good to go. So to do all these checks one more time, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up your Zoom, bring in your audio, and we're going to look at this bar. When I'm talking, it's bouncing, right? It's bouncing. Now, I'm going to be quiet, and I'm going to play Spotify. So those are our pre-checks. You've got you've got sound coming in here. You've got sound coming out from from Spotify. And if as long as it's lighting up right here, that means that your whatever you are playing is going out over Zoom. So we've already got this going. We got that going. And then uh, what I'm going to do right quick is is show you. I don't know how it's going to sound on my my uh, my phone. I, I, I've done a test of this already, but just to let you know that it it does actually sound really, really, really good, good. like, like um, um, the audio, audio that comes out through this. As long as you make those those, those changes, those little things. things. The, the other, other thing that I've seen that, that has worked out, <clears throat> excuse me, pretty well, is if you do share your screen, screen you, you, get, you get you get a share, share screen right here. So now we're going to share this, um, we're sharing this, this Spotify box. If you click on the drop down button in Zoom, there's this in the more section, there's this thing that says optimize share for full screen video clip. If you click on that, the, the audio gets even better, even more streamlined. So think of this if you guys were DJing or if you're playing guitar or singing over Zoom, then this is a way to get good, clean, crisp sound coming out there. So real quick, I'm gonna pop on this. I'm gonna type in my meeting ID to show you how quickly it is to hop on to Zoom. I've got my We'll call, we'll call it my burner, burner account. account. <laughs> I got my, my burner, burner account down, down here in my Zoom. Zoom. So, so I'm going to join the meeting. meeting. Got, got two accounts, accounts going. going. And then the passcode on this guy. guy. No, no Zoom bombing me, all right? right? We had a, a Zoom bomb, bomb happen the other day on a on a nice little happy hour we were, we were going down with. And um, it was no bueno. No bueno. So we're going to join without video. And then uh, oh, I've got my, my good setting set up. So I have to admit that person who just requested, which was me. Um, from, from, from your, your app, app, you're going you're gonna to click, click on uh, call, call via device, device audio. audio. And, and now you hear, hear my feedback. feedback. But just, just for, for sake, sake of this case, case we're, going we're, going to, we're going to now, now play. play. I have no idea how that's going to sound. There's so many different mushed, mushed up channels here right now. But the idea is you can play any audio from your computer, from whatever you're doing, and, and get it on and over to Zoom. So apologies if that sound all mushed up. But, you know, we're just trying to show you the concept, let you play with it. And then uh, if you have any questions, again, uh, put it in the comments. If you're enjoying these, these uh, tutorials that I've been sending out, please like, subscribe. And uh, keep coming back for more. Thanks for tuning in to Denville Radio. I'm DJ Lefebvre. Out.